and welcome back to my Sims in Bloom Legacy Challenge. We are joining our Bloom family as they are just wrapping up the triplets birthday party. So it has just finished. Everybody is now heading home. We've got a couple of people staying and doing some dances. Um, the main important people are staying. We've got Indy and Tara in here dancing with Maya. And then Otis is doing his homework in the room oh, next to them. That? And River is working on his school project, but he is working sloppily, which I don't know whether it's worth doing and if you're just gonna sloppily do it but it is what it is so yeah in the last episode i wanted to kind of gauge your reactions about maybe doing a little side series with otis going to university because his aspiration is the academic one so he wants to attend university and get a job but most importantly learn so a lot of you seemed quite keen on Otis's side series. So when he becomes a young adult, we will go ahead and do that with him. And I've done a poll as well on my YouTube community to see who people are rooting for in terms of Maya and Otis. And honestly, it is a right old mixed bag. I think it was like 46% River and 57% Maya. So at this moment, I am literally torn. I don't actually know who the heir is going to be because it is so tricky. Like in the last episode i was like oh maybe river and then in the episode before that i'm like oh maybe maya i just don't know at this stage i honestly just don't know okay it is one in the morning so i'm sure indy and tara are gonna want to be heading home but look at them having a little boogie indy in the previous episode maybe the one before that as you might have seen has been given a new lease of life he died four times and got revived four times and is still here and now his elderly life stage has been reset he has since moved back in oh no tara's crying over waffle it is very sad waffle was such a massive part in our lives and i think that their dog passed away as well because when i was moving indy back in they only had their kitty cat so it is really sad but at least now indy and tara have moved back in with each other so they can spend their final days together but these kiddos are staying up very late. I know that we're working on homework, but you do have school tomorrow. I wonder if, can Indy help them? Can you ask Indy to help? To speed it along quick. But you've got school in the morning, so you've got to get some sleep. Otis and Indy have the jokesters family dynamic. Love that, because Otis and Indy, I find that they have a fair few similarities. Okay, I'm just gonna see if Indy doesn't mind helping River with the project. I get that they are outside. Maya babes, you've got to stop the dancing, have a shower and probably head to bed. And Otis's homework is nearly done. I also, I think in the morning when it is nice and bright outside, I'm gonna update all of their bedrooms and add a basement to the house so that we can start throwing some cool house parties. I wonder if Tara could help. Oh, I was gonna say, if she could help Otis with his homework. But he, he's done. He's all done and dusted. I have to turn off this radio before Maya heads to bed. Otherwise, she will not sleep. <gasps> oh, stop. Look at River and Indy. Oh, perfect. They did it together. He finished his school retirement on time with the help of Indy. Thanks, Indy. Absolute star. All right, head off to bed now. Let's turn off this music. They're all now teenagers. They've had their party and now they're going to their first day of school as teenagers, I think. Bedtime for everyone. It is 3.20 and they are only just going to sleep. Indy and Tara, you you can go home. Indy's cooking something up in the kitchen by the looks of it. You are welcome to go home, my loves. Maybe they just want to help clean up the house after the big old triplets birthday party. Is Indy going? Going the whole way round with his like spaghetti bolognese. Okay, Tara's heading off. Indy just. Oh! Who's died? <gasps> Tara's passed away? She was just here! What? She's passed away? She was literally just here, morning waffle. Wait, how has she died? That's so sad. She was literally here five seconds ago. He was literally mid making his, his um spaghetti bolognese and he ran out outside with it and then suddenly disappeared. And then we got the pop-up that Tara died. Indy's just walking the streets with his bolognese. Oh God, is he okay? I don't feel like he's okay. I don't know if Indy's okay, you lot. I feel like Indy is like lost in his older age. He, I think everybody thought that he would be the one that would die first, which he did multiple times, but then he was constantly revived, but Tara wasn't in the ha house when she died. For us to even try and attempt to revive her. This lot are very sad because they have lost their grandmother, but Thorn it is her mum. And whilst I know that Thorn and 
Tara didn't have the best relationship growing up. I think in Tara's later years, she really, like, her character arc kind of changed and definitely redeemed herself. I mean, not not that she re- redeemed herself because, you know, it was a difficult time. But I think she grew up not wanting kids and then she kind of learned to and grew to love them as they got older. River is feeling really sad, but he's doing some sort of sad little boogie to S-pop. So, you know, you, you do your thing. They do have school in about an hour. Oh, Otis is going on a field trip to the Sim River Conservation. Oh, I bet he's going to love that. Although he is feeling really sad. Oh, bless him. Okay, well, the good one good thing about you lot today is that I am going to redesign your bedrooms. So when you come home, it will be all nice. Oh, I'm sorry. Otis is feeling focused. He is feeling very sad. But he is also feeling focused as he heads off to the conservation planet world or whatever river has a new quirk uh, emotion bomb he's finding it difficult to process his negative emotions in a healthy manner feelings of anger or sadness quickly become overwhelming and result in an over dramatic emotional meltdown and they're all heading off to school now right let's do a whole hot pause and let's give the apartments the two apartments slash houses a bit of an update let's change everybody's bedrooms and i think make them that little bit bigger and a little bit more more personal for each person so Otis's room we're making it a little bit more spacious actually I'll, I'll map out how big the bedrooms are going to be and then we'll pop the basement in so this is Maya's teenager bedroom room she has kept the same radio that she's had growing up so that is her room this is River's teenage bedroom room with all stuff everywhere. And then this is Otis's teenage bedroom room. Very like, you know, sciencey, geeky, nerdy sort of vibes for Otis. This is the basement that is underneath our Forget Me Not Jen's house. The access point is next to Maya's bedroom, but you go outside. And yeah, those are the updated house things so the bedrooms and the basement obviously it is just to start off with and i'm sure they will eventually upgrade it make it better and uh have some cool parties in here oh i am just going to change this to be blue lighting and yeah let me know what you think of the house updates down in the comment section below kiddos are at school so what i'm going to do first and foremost is I think lock this door and lock the downstairs one to the club actually lock for individual and we're going to lock it for Thorn and Emily. Lock for Emily and then this is going to be locked for them as well because nobody wants their mums crashing their little teenage parties. So yeah they still can get into this house through the door in the middle but it's not as um, easily accessed I guess and we can lock that. Just lock it for everyone when we want. Also, Thorn, if you don't mind cleaning up the entire house while the kiddos are at school, that would be amazing. Do you know what we can remove now? Let's get rid of this make a cake or cake a break do our thing. And because we needed that for the party, but not anymore. What is this little moodlet? Oh, Thorn is an expert stitcher. Love that for you. Keep cleaning up the house if you don't mind, my love. And... Also, we need to assign all of the kiddos their beds, but we can't do that until they get home and they're actually here in the house. Oh my God, I've just realized we have no money. Does Thorn have work? She doesn't have work for two days. Oh, she got her royalties from her video making, which is good. During art, Maya's class was instructed to create flower themed cards for each other. Oh, because it's love day. She gathered glitter, pencils, paper petals and pipe cleaners. Her creative juices were flowing. The cards were to be shared and opened with the rest of the class. Ugh. Let's do hilarious ones rather than, oh, apparently Maya's not funny. The teacher didn't think so. Her classmates didn't think so. Her friends didn't think so. And she was insensitive. Apparently she starts, she needs to start taking people's feelings a bit more seriously. Ooh, should should River invite somebody special to the Love Day school party? Yes. Someone said no. A fire? What do you mean there's a blooming fire? Where's the fire, Thorn? I don't see a fire. I think the game's playing trick or treats with me. Today is literally Halloween and the game is... Hello? Thorn discovered the fire. Well, I haven't discovered the fire because I can't see a thing. Where is the fire? What are you blowing? I see a fireplace. Thorn, 
You are such a drama queen. Wait, what? What is going on? An invisible fire that has apparently burnt our living room. Nobody was even in this room. Okay, Thorn, put out this fire, clean the floor, and sort this out. This is just, I don't even know what is going on in Sims in Flame. Saved by firefighters. Yeah, they definitely arrived in just a nick of time, and it was very close. Whatever would you have done if they hadn't have arrived? Okay, go and use your toilet in your own house, and you can sing in the shower, Thorn. At least she's cleaning up her kiddo's house, so. And then they're all feeling very sad from losing their grandmother this morning, I think it was. So I don't think school is going to go very well today. Oh, wait, that's really cool. So they still have drama club after school as a teenager. I thought it was just something that they do as a child. But I'm glad to see that they still have it as a teenager as well. You need to increase your acting skill to level three, though which obviously we haven't been doing for the last couple of days because we had a move. They moved into this house and they haven't really been focusing on it because they had their birthday as well. River has been asked to volunteer in helping to decorate for the Love Day dance. Ooh, I feel like he is going to prank the Love Day dance. He is not doing well at school today. He sabotaged the Love Day dance and the pranks were disappointing and they weren't funny and the teacher bit into a cookie covered in ketchup. And obviously River got the blame. And now Maya has two options to invite somebody to the Love Day dance. Invite someone. Ooh, she worked up the nerve and asked someone to the party. She stole shy glances at her date as they congregated along the wall and awkwardly chatted. Maya's heart was a flutter. Now Primrose is caught. God, everything is blooming happening. Please, Louise. And Otis was on his field trip, wasn't he? Conserving fun. Yes, conserving resources is important. If only it would have been an engaging day. Maybe he would muster more enthusiasm. But it was the most boring day ever. Oh. Well, I'm glad he's um in a good mood. But he's just quite sad. Why don't you cry it out? And then why don't you do some extra credit work ready for school tomorrow? Motion bon bomb. He's finding it. It's difficult to process his negative emotions. Oh no. Do you know what? I'm not surprised that these kids are struggling with processing their emotions because Indy has died about three times since they were born and been brought back to life. And then now their grandma has died and she has actually died and has not been brought back to life. So I think their kind of view on death is a little bit distorted. Yet yeah, River can invite Frank over. Ooh, Maya wants to invite Jonathan over. They've got drama club though in half an hour. But who are these people? People. Jonathan and Frank. Okay, you have invited two teenagers over. Jonathan is good friends with Otis, I believe. Maya's having a mood swing, but she's feeling flirty from an A plus holiday. Is it excitement, love, indigestion? That was an awesome holiday at school. Oh, she got a compliment from a cute classmate, maybe Christopher. How is River feeling? He got saved by firefighters. You weren't even here, babes. You weren't even here. Why don't you go and get your fun up and try and practice down in the basement and Maya you can come down and do some dancing oh god they're already off I can't have a second oh no now these two have been left down in the dungeon down in the dungeon to fend for themselves sorry you two but we've got to head to drama club that's more important that definitely shows signs of putting themselves before other people they care more about you know themselves like they've invited these two friends or whatever over from school and then they've realized oh actually I can't hang out with you I've got to go to drama club and that's kind of more important so you just do whatever you want in the house very self-absorbed behavior from these two all right you two go and focus on your acting is that gonna work on getting the acting skill up increases acting skill yes Maya's acquired the acting skill as has River so you two can go and do that. We've got Otis here feeling super duper confident. He's doing his extra credit work in his little bedroom. He's such a good little sausage. The drama club teacher has had a prophetic vision and is no longer happy with the ending of the show. A new ending is needed. The teacher wants River to write a happy monologue to end it, but River feels a song would end it better. Let's do a happy monologue. Bravo! The teacher is super happy with the monologue. Their vision has been realized and the play turned out well. River gains performance for his hard work. Well done, River. And this is Otis's little badge progress. Bless his cotton socks. And Otis is going out for a run now. I feel like hopefully the jogging will help him to process his emotions. Oh, are they lemon trees? Maybe we'll have to 
pick some lemons and he is quite a sensitive soul and you know what with everything that has been going on over the last couple of weeks they've just moved to a new house he's just lost his grandma it's it's a difficult time for the teenagers and i think otis is taking it quite hard so hopefully going jogging is gonna help with that those back from drama club i love how i'm still calling them kiddos they are most definitely not kiddos they are teenagers oh god very sad both feeling very very sad today sad and tired oh one thing i do need to do now that they're home is assign their beds so this is obviously river's bedroom this is Maya's bedroom and this is Otis's bedroom just so they've all got their little place to go just gonna get Thorn to update her simstagram and stuff and do some social posts we don't want her spotlight to be fade so let me go and do a little bit of social media maybe respond to mail just keep that all in check maybe I should get her a video making station okay she's got 27 million followers now which is wild we don't need this anymore anymore i'm just gonna go get him to observe the sky through the little um telescope outside that could be quite good work on some skills for him um maya's here catching up on her homework then she's gonna eat some foodies and whatnot river and his friends are hanging out in his room why don't you dance to the music hopefully that can get your fun up and then you can head to bed because quite clearly you are shattered all right river's about to pass out very early but we need to we need to get this fun up i just don't know if he really enjoys school that much I mean, both him and Maya always seem to come back just feeling in dreadful moods. Very low energy, low fun. Does anyone really enjoy school? I say that as Otis absolutely loves school. He's very academic. He, of course, does love going to school. He loves learning. And he comes home and wants to learn even more. And now he's learned about the sky and whatever's going on out there. So fair play to you. But these two are just not enjoying it. He's doing some dancing, though, working on that dancing skill. I do want to get him, actually, before he goes to sleep, learning his lines. So, so I'm just going to click on him. And let's select practice acting. And then Maya can go ahead and do that in her bedroom. Otis is feeling focused. He's in awe of the cosmos from looking into space. The endless view of the universe can really get a sim's mind feeling focused. He has reached level seven of the logic skill. And his confidence has gone up from doing that. You know what I want to do? I actually don't tend to utilize this all that much. But I am going to go ahead and go into Otis's room. I'm going to add this to his bedroom. This little constellation overcast over your head thing. So now this is Otis's room. This is what it looks like. He will look up in his bed and see all the constellations. <gasps> Perfect. Um, absolutely perfect for him. Oh, Maya's heading off to bed as well. Come on, you two. We need to be working on acting. Do you know what I'm going to do? This is too early. This is way too early to be going to bed. You two need to be staying up late. I'm not having it. So you're going to get a sleep replacement and you're going to drink that and we're going to practice acting and get going with that. So forget sleep. And River, you're going to do the exact same. So get your bum out of bed. Drink this sleep replacement. Drink up Buttercup. And then you can practice your acting in as well we are not gonna go to sleep yet you two are staying up late they are definitely the type of kids that would stay up late and throw parties and everything so we need to get going with that but for now acting is a big thing for them and drama club hey, is so the if they can practice their lines yeah. and keep going with that that will be amazing oh river's here practicing his lines in the living room his confidence is boosted though once you've done that you can go for a quick wee and then maybe you can start practicing making some music down in the basement nobody's gonna hear you because it's down down in the basement as well okay you can also learn some new lines okay river is having a go at dj mixing for the first time oh look at him go he's never done this before but it looks like he's enjoying it <laughs> control panel set the volume oh it's on medium okay we'll leave it to medium for now it is 11 o'clock at night though so hopefully nobody hears and complains i mean i think he's enjoying it can other people like watch him oh you can river is now a dj he can continue to practice spinning and gain skill to unlock more possibilities. Maya's now struggling to deal with her emotions as well. Oh God. Same point, corporate partnership. Easier socialization with more famous Sims. Chance to gain bonus fame from skills and careers. Let's do that one. Does River have a fame thing? Oh, he has one as well. I'm gonna do that noticeable one for him too. 
Um, for Otis, if he's got one, he is going to quit the spotlight because he doesn't need this. So you can quit the spotlight. You don't want that. River's feeling very confident. He's enjoying making his music. And Maya has just reached acting level two. Okay, so they are both working on their different things. It is now 11.30 p.m. So let's go ahead and send them to bed. Somehow Maya, I don't know whether she did take that sleep replacement potion or what, but she is shattered. So you can head to bed and River's going to keep doing his DJ mix him. Maybe you can learn some new lines down here while you've got a lot of energy. Oh, okay. River reached DJ mix in level two. He can now play new genres of music and switch between available genres while DJing. Other Sims can enjoy the performance via dancing or watching. Okay. Why don't you do a little bit of acting before tomorrow, River? Perhaps work on oh. your learning some lines Remember, ready for drama club. I do feel like this is something that he would want to make sure he's doing. Get that acting skill up as well. Maya didn't learn her new lines. I thought I told her to. Otis now believes in ghosts and he thinks that they're always watching and ready to jump out and scare him. Oh my love. This is what happens when you look through the telescope. You believe in the supernatural. It's because he just saw Waffle and obviously Waffle's a ghost now. It's back! Otis thought ghosts were just a one-time thing, but it only seemed to be the beginning. Okay, get yourself back to bed, my love. You'll be fine. Oh, he's gone over to Maya. Even though they weren't getting along, I realized that they are kind of pulling an all-nighter, but this is how I feel like teenagers would be. River's a jock. He doesn't go to bed at 8 a.m. He's pouring himself a nice drink, like a whiskey or something by the looks of it. And he's, uh... He's learning his lines. Don't get drunk. It's a school night. He doesn't care though. Okay, you enjoy your drink. River's now in a good mood because he's had a bit of alcohol. Alcohol has helped. Yes. We're having an emotional meltdown. It's okay. It's okay to let your emotions out. It is three in the morning. I'm sure everyone has emotional meltdowns at three in the morning. River is now acting level two. He can cry on demand as a self-interaction. Is he crying on demand now? Showcasing what he can now do. Oh look, Waffle's off down the stairs. Waffle's like, I've never seen a basement before. What? Ne Waffle's never even seen a house before. And now here he is watching. Oh, it's like he's watching on as River's learning his lines. He's a party doggo. He wants to get involved in the music mixing. And now River wants to make Waffles. Wait, that's really weird. I'm gonna get you lot to get a little bit of sleep. I managed to get their acting up just that little bit, but it's not the best. It's still not at level three. But you know, it could it could have been worse. Oh, lovely. I think Emily broke the toilet. So please go repair that and take a shower. Oh, you also broke this. Oh my God, Emily's breaking everything. And then River's heading off to bed after a night of DJ mixing and acting. I'm glad Maya managed to do some of that as well. But we just need to get her learning some more lines and increasing our acting skill. Otis dreamt they were abducted by aliens. What a nightmare. A little trite though, in Otis's opinion. Oh God, Otis has been through it all. I don't know if, like, I think he enjoys looking through the telescope, but it's almost as if by him looking through the telescope, it's brought about all of these potential, like, intrusive thoughts because now he's worrying about, like, ghosts and all sorts. Aliens as well. Ooh, Otis, you need to achieve level three research and debate skill. Why don't you go and on likes handiness? Never thought I'd see the day. Otis can practice debate in the mirror. Maya's going on a field trip to the aquarium. Love that for you, Maya. Have an amazing time at the aquarium. What a life. Maya's going on all the field trips. Ooh, River's feeling confident. Acting assured. Practice makes perfect. River is ready for any role. Interesting. Okay, how are you feeling, Otis? Fine. He's working on his little research and debate skill so we could actually get some bits for him so seven is 4k gain all skills much faster maybe what we'll do then is i think i've done this for a lot of my sims and bloom characters is get the morning sim and the night owl because we can't afford that at the moment and i'm actually going to do the same for maya and otis just so that they gain all their skills faster either in the morning or at night you can all have that same thing but yeah the savant is definitely one to look for and maybe even entrepreneurial Ooh, why don't we go ahead and follow otis and river to school today it's been a while since I have been to school with my characters in The Sims, it's been quite some time. I think we went with Thorn and Primrose a couple of times, but I don't think I've been with anyone since then. So let's go ahead and 
head on to school with River and Otis. Maya is at a school trip today, so she won't be at school. We have to learn about the new school principal. Who's the school principal? You're a student, Alexandria. That always reminds me of The Walking Dead. Where is the principal's office in here? <gasps> Ooh, okay. Principal Darwin. He looks like a student himself, to be quite honest with you. But let's go and introduce ourselves. We'll bring River and Otis. Otis is going to be, be very respectful to Darwin. But honestly, Darwin looks like he would be friends with River in school. Look at him. He looks like a cool guy. Principal is a bit of a hottie, to be fair. Do we give him a CC makeover for the next episode? Let me know. I feel like some of these teachers were students when Thorne and Emily were in school. Oh my God, 56 out of eight days. This always happens with my school sims. It's as if they just don't age up and then the people that are in the school are way over age. Then we don't actually get general teenagers in, in, our, in, our, in our school. Look, 67 out of eight in their teen years. The boys are in the principal's office. Let's sure learn working. about the principal, get to know them a little bit. Yeah, oh, look at uh, them. Bro. Otis is loving that. He's in a great mood. I feel like you're gonna have to do this as well, River. Otherwise, you're not gonna get any more options. So learn about the new school. Okay, River's getting up and walking out because he can't be bothered. But Otis is still chit-chatting. Oh, there we go. Welcome to Copperdale High School, Mr. Bloom. I hope you settle in without too much trouble. We have two periods, one morning and one afternoon. Otherwise, you can socialize and study. Okay, let's go claim a locker, boys. Claim that locker, Otis. Oh, wait, it's the lesson time. Okay, you're gonna have to do it after. And then River, I feel like you're gonna want one like down here with all these cool guys over here, like someone's playing rugby. So you can claim that one. Otis is already in school, uh, in his class even. River's walking in late, of course. But let's get focusing, boys. River just looks so bored. Whereas Otis is like properly like taken in what's going on. He looks really intrigued. Like, yep, I know what you're talking about. I learned about this in my physics book yesterday. What class are we at? Oh, we're in art class. <laughs> and we're talking about physics. Well, Otis cares about everything. He enjoys learning all sorts. All right, there we go. Grab an apple and decorate your locker with sporty decorations. Why don't you go and decorate your locker with... What is preppy decorations? What does that mean? Okay, no. What is dark academia? Yeah, dark academia is gonna be Otis's decorations. Let's go get some snacks. Order some veggie sliders. You can have that. And then River, you're gonna need to get lunch at some point as well. This is the thing with coming in like during the school days is you meet all these random people that just don't fit the character type. Whereas at least when I was just sending them in on their own, for example, River's meeting Jonathan and like other random people that more so fit the character type. I think in game tomorrow when they go in on first, Thursday, I'm just gonna send them in on their own and they can they can meet whoever they like whoever they want and then we can maybe CC them up. Otis is a genius, he is. And he wants to be friendly with a student. So why don't you say hi to Colleen? Oh my god, look at River. He is so done with school. He's like, why am I here? I don't even want to be here. I just want to be in drama club. He's wearing his blooming beret and everything as well. River's got high self-esteem. These sims regularly become confident even when failing to gain skills or succeed at work. They're also less likely to develop a fear of failure. And he's part of the rebel rousers. They don't really care. They get together or don't and do what they want. Who cares? What are you going to do about it? He is not having a fun time. River does not enjoy school. Why don't you go in the bathroom and practice acting? Why don't you skip the next class and do your acting? I feel like that is your passion. What are you doing, my love? Read a high school workbook. Oh, Otis, you pure sweet baby. You want to read a high school workbook? Oh, God love you. God love you. That's not yours. I think that's somebody else's. Why do you want to read that? Oh, River, Um, Otis even, get to class. You don't want to be late. He's on his way into class like a good little egg angel head. What class has he got now? I don't know. And then River's hiding I'm in the bathroom, sorry. practicing sorry. his acting, ready for later. He could get up to level three, to be fair, before his drama class. That'll be kind of cool. Oh, computer science class. I'm sure Otis will be interested in this. The PA loudly chirps on, on for some announcements. Otis doesn't care to hear about the weather forecast or updates. No, he would listen to the school announcements. The announcements methodically droned on and on. One student even dozed off. Oh, Otis was listening. Ooh, River's reached level three of acting. 
He has and now learned how to perform a romance skip scene with another sim. This can also be done for tips Chiro, to earn extra income, and he can use his skill Which to save an awkward conversation. Oh, <gasps> Ooh, well Ang done, soy. you. You're you haven't done your homework, but you've done well with your acting, and now school now. is over. So they're going to be heading to acting class soon enough. Let's head home and then shortly after you'll be going to your acting class. So Otis, I'm sure, is going to head home and focus on his work. Do some uh, homework. Ooh, end of day report. River seemed a little inattentive. He should make sure his class skills are up before next week. Otis impressed his teachers and learned a lot today. That gives me no surprise. All right, let me just quickly check the house lot traits. Because at the minute we don't have any. I might do teen neighbourhood party that's about social event goals i mean we can do that but there aren't really any like dancing sort of ones that help with that oh let's put it as a celebrity home for now i don't know if i've really done that before prestigious living river sits pretty right at the top the tourists all standing and river's just like stop even the place he resides is well known but to him it's just that it's simply a home interesting well i am going to finish today's episode up here but let me know if you're excited for the next one i think what we're going to do in the next one is throw their first proper house party i want to get them going in and make him like proper friends at school maybe even if they can at drama club and then we can bring them all back to the house and throw like a proper house party Wait a minute we've got eight grand okay we've got a bit more money now probably from dawn going to work so we can maybe upgrade the little nightclub downstairs party area as well so yeah let's finish up here for today but i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you never miss a video take care look after yourselves and i'll see you next time Paz out